Esco helped to create the 3D front cover for digital and laser packaging. How do you think the project went? I think the project's gone really well. Uh, the reaction we've had at the show today from customers who are picking the, uh, the, the magazine up, love it. We've been showing our 3D software for probably about four years now, but I think it's the first time we've actually printed it, so people can put 3D glasses on and look at it in 3D. So the response is great. People have not thought of using this technology in that way before, but it's just another way of taking some of the obstacles out of the concept to shelf time for our customers. Now that readers can see what can be achieved with this technology, what other sort of applications could this be used for? Um, it, it can be used for anything. It doesn't have to just be used in the packaging world. So we are getting asked from other people how they can use 3D software for marketing products on websites that don't exist. So they just have the artwork and we can actually get them on the website and be taking orders before the product's actually even been produced. So we could change the whole way of, uh, certainly for web-based uh, e-commerce, um, is process. Automation Engine 14 comes out in June this year. Could you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, um, Automation 14 is our first major release for uh, nearly two years. Um, and the reason we've waited so long is there's lots of new functionality. And two of uh, the hot elements, in my opinion, is we have a module called Connect, which unlike JDF, which only connects to print-related systems, Connect now will work with anything. So we show a demonstration where we're printing billboards, and if the weather where they're being actually pasted are not, uh, uh, if the weather's not good, um, it will not put that job at the top of the queue. It will decide when that job's dispatched based on the weather where it's been sent to. And the idea of that is just linking into Google Weather, or it could be timetables or shipping, tides, it could be anything at all. It is that open. The limitation of this is our customer's imagination. It really is that flexible. The other big uh, positive for 14 is we have the ability in 14 to do colour management on PDFs. So we now can deliver um, actually predefined colour in our PDFs. So if you're outputting to three or four different digital devices, we can colour manage the PDFs that are delivered to them. So one colour management system for the whole business. Instead of having a different colour management system on a HP or a Zycon or whatever, we can do one system now for everything. Um, it really is across the board. So we have um, we have brand owners, more and more brand owners buying our technology who want to perhaps control their assets more and then use their external suppliers to work on those files. Um, we have uh, uh, designers, structural designers, graphic designers, printers, um, and now we're getting through to some of the packers and fillers for the fact that now we own Kate we're actually doing palletization as well. So it's, it really is across the board, and, and that is ESCO's strength, is that we're not just in one sort of silo, we're doing uh, multiple areas across the whole packaging chain.